Rail Car 1 starts its journey at Johnsonville. The driver arrives in the rail car, ready to commence his run, and he switches on the interior lights. Passengers board, headlights on, the block, sorry, the sensors and turnouts ahead are clear. So the rail car commences its run to Wadestown. Loop slows down as it's approaching Wadestown. Headlights turned off. As it goes into the next sensor, it slows down again. The track ahead is clear, turnout is set, and the rail car commences the rest of its journey to Grahamstown. Coming past the call store. Loco depot in the front warehouses in the back. As it approaches Grahamstown it slows down. It slows down again as it's now on the main platform. It comes to a halt. The headlights turned off. The driver departs the cab, turns the interior lights off and has a 120 second break. Railcar 1, after its 120 second delay, is now departing Grahamstown. Provided the blocks are here to clear, turnouts are set, the railcar will complete the journey to Johnsonville. It's approaching the tunnel now. and arrives in Wadestown on the loop. Track and blocks ahead are here clear. <clears throat> Proceeds to Johnsonville. As it approaches the home signal, it will go into the next sensor, which slows the rail car down. The lights are turned off. It gets into the platform sensor, and after a time delay, because there are no stop sensors, it comes to a halt. And waits for 120 seconds before commencing the return journey. Provided, of course, the run rail car button button is clicked on the JMRI layout panel. These are the buttons on the JMR layout panel. I've labelled this automation and effects and by clicking the button I can disable the logics at certain points. I enable the button to start the script running. I can disable the button and the script will stop running when the rail car is in Wadestown or before departing Johnsonville. I have lots of print statements on my script and I can watch the script output to ensure that there's no problems running the script. They could be commented out but I've just left them in there. It's handy for testing and debugging the script. You know exactly where it is or if you get any hang-ups